Lots of people travel to the big station at the end of the line. Engines from the other railway sometimes pull their trains. These engines stay the night and go home the next day. Gordon was talking one day to one of these. I remember going to London. Do you know the place? The station's called King's Cross. King's Cross, snorted the engine. London's Euston. Everybody knows that. Rubbish, said Duck. London's Paddington. I know. I work there. They were still arguing when the other engine went away. Stupid thing, said Gordon crossly. I've no patience. Stupid yourself, said Duck. London's Paddington. Do you hear? Stop arguing, James broke in. You make me tired. You both agreed about something anyway. What's that? London's not Euston, laughed James. Gordon rolled away, still grumbling. I'm sure it's King's Cross. One day he pulled the express to the station as usual. His fireman uncoupled the coaches and he ran onto his siding to wait till it was time to go home. The coaches waited and waited at the platform, but their engine didn't come. A porter ran across and spoke to Gordon's driver. The inspector's on the platform. He wants to see you. He came back in a few minutes looking excited. Hello, said the fireman. What's happened? The engine for the express turned over when it was coming out of the yard. Nothing else can come in or out. They want us to take the train to London. I said we would if the fat controller agreed. And he said we could do it. How's that? Fine, said the fireman. We'll show them what the fat controller's engines can do. Come on, said Gordon. Let's go. He rolled quickly over the crossings and backed onto the train. It was only a few minutes before the guard blew his whistle, but Gordon thought it was ages. Gordon found that London was a long way away. Come on, he called to the coaches. Come on, come on, come on. We're going to town, we're going to town, sang the coaches slowly at first, then faster and faster. Gordon had to work harder than ever before. Never mind, he puffed. I like a good long run to stretch my wheels. But all the same, he was glad when London came in sight. The fat controller came into his office next morning. He looked at the letters on his desk. One had a London postmark. I wonder how Gordon's getting on, he said. The station master knocked and came in. Excuse me, sir, have you seen the news? Not yet. Why? The fat controller took the newspaper. Good gracious me, he said. There's Gordon. Headlines, too. Famous engine at London Station. Please call to control crowds. The fat controller read on, absorbed. Gordon returned next day. The fat controller spoke to his driver and fireman. I see you had a good welcome in London. We certainly did, sir. We signed autographs till our arms ached. And Gordon had his photograph taken from so many directions at once that he didn't know which way to look. Good, smiled the fat controller. I expect he enjoyed himself, didn't you, Gordon? No, sir, I didn't. Why ever not? London's all wrong, answered Gordon sadly. They've changed it. It isn't King's Cross anymore. It's St Pancras.